for this project. One 15 16 inch combination end wrench, open end, box end. Probably could get away with just a box end, but what the heck. Alright, first thing I'm going to put in here are these uh, little blocks. I don't get this section cleared here. If you're wondering what this is, this is a hanger for the uh, sickle bar mower. Because this tractor has a fast hitch on it, it allows you to hang the sickle bar mower and run the fast hitch implements. Here we have the plow subframe. This is all the lift linkage. <sighs> How? How in crap am I going to do this? Yes. Guess what I'll do here is lower this down. wasn't so bad. What's next here? I believe the boomerang is the next piece to go on. Okay. This little part here sticks out. This actually hooks to the greater blade for under the belly of the tractor. You can actually use this as kind of a road grader. It actually seems kind of counterintuitive to be doing this today. I mean, yeah, it's January 12th, but it is like 60 degrees out here. I'm kind of west of Rochester, New York, east of Buffalo. So this really is not uh, normal weather for us this time of year. Normally I would be pushing snow with this and not putting the blade on. But... Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be pushing snow with this anyway. I have a push snow blower up in the garage. I much prefer that because it's not as harsh on my um, uh, on my uh, pavement up there on my asphalt. But next thing we got to do is get this tractor turned around so I don't have to carry this stupid blade out the door. This is a cold start so maybe a failed cold start because I never hooked the choke back up yes. 
Shifter's off. Choke. <laughs> in between runs here because it's a badly leaking carburetor. All right. It's gonna be 15 sixteenths or not. I don't know. Yeah, all we can do is try. Let's start it up to see if she goes up and down. Shake hands with the... Uh, thing about it is look at all this clearance here Let's see if I got a tape measure in the box oh, yeah. oh my wonderful sparkly tape measure uh, oh yeah we got 14 inches of ground clearance here now if I need to trudge through some deep snow to get somewhere you know I won't be pushing it with that I'll have that up but is mounted. Uh, the next thing to do is to put the blade shoes on it. Because I wasn't sure I had any of these uh, half inch carriage bolts. But I just happened to find a couple of half inch carriage bolts in my box over here. Possibly even bought them just for this occasion. But we'll start over here. I took these off earlier, they were seized on, so I had to go over to the garage and burp them off with the burp gun. Thank <laughs> you. 
that. Bolt's perfect length now. Ha! Put that second skid shoe on. Again here, this nut was pretty well seized on there, so I ended up using the impact gun and just hit it with a little PB blaster and then ran, ran it off of the impact, no problem. Uh, yeah, of course, the first one I cut was perfectly square. This one followed the thread. Well, there she is. Snow plow's all mounted. Got the shoes installed, both sides. Well, maybe we'll get some more snow later this winter and we'll get to test it out and see how it works.